So hey guys, it's me, How to Hamster, and I'm gonna be showing you um how to clean um well not how to clean but just me cleaning my Betafish tank and I already took him out of his tank so I couldn't film that part but yeah so I took him out of the tank and I'm not gonna keep him on the floor it's just I just kept him on the floor right now for the sake of the video but yeah so I'm just gonna be showing you how I changed my Betafish tank so um I already dumped out all the old water um of my Betafish tank and I just let it soak in this hot water for about seven minutes, really. Um, I usually do it five to ten minutes. So, yeah, so I soaked it in the hot water. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and dump it out. And, yeah, I'm just going to go dump out all the hot water. And then what I'm going to do is when I'm done dumping out all the water, I'm going to go clean my sink and then dump all the... Um, gravel in the sink with some hot water as well I just want to tell you when you um if you dump like your gravel in the sink to clean it don't clean it with clorox wipes or anything just like clean it with just some tissue or something like that so that way um when you put the gravel back in your fish tank um or bowl then it won't get like your fish won't get poisoned or whatever by the clorox and stuff so yeah. So then like it kind of in the hot water, I just like kind of rub the pebbles together like this just to get like all the excess stuff out of the petal pebbles. And then I just let it um soak for also about five to 10 minutes. So yeah. Okay, so now I just let it set for um about 10 minutes. Sorry guys. And as you can see, well, you guys probably can't see, but oh yeah, here. There's just some dirty stuff there. So letting it soak is definitely a great idea to get all of the stuff, the dirty stuff out. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of the pebbles out of here. Um, but after I do that, I mean, before I do that, I like to just like scrub my um, fish bowl. Um, just with the t um, toilet paper or like um, paper towels or something. And then I just, um, after I do that, I would just um, just um, rinse it out with water. And then I, yeah, I'll go to the next step with that. But I just, um, yeah, what I just said. Yeah. So just get paper towel, wipe it, and then just rinse it out. So as I said from before, after I do that, I just give the pebbles and I just place them in the bowl. And and then after that, I just drain, I mean not strain, drain the water and yeah. So after I do that, I usually just keep um, some room temperature filtered water. Um, I just like, um, I get that in advance. So that way it will be the right temperature for my butterfish. And yeah, so I'm just going to go pour that in. So I didn't fill this exactly up to the top as you can see. Like, it's not easy to see, but yeah, because I didn't fill exactly up to the top because obviously I have my butterfish in a cup. So um, there's water in his cup, so I'm just going to go pour him in there. But before I add my betta fish in, I obviously have to add my chemicals. Now, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of different kinds of chemicals for betta fish. I just have um, two of them. I have the betta safe um, maintenance thing. And I have the top fin betta fish water conditioner. Um, so I'm just going to go use this one. And just listen to the instructions that they say usually on the back. And just add your chemicals. So now here's Bo, and I'm just going to go add him into um, his fishbowl. And I washed, um, it's a good idea to add plants. Um, and your better fish tank so they won't feel like um, threatened or anything. It's just, just a good idea. 
Um, so yeah, I just like to add plants and um, I forgot to say that you have to wash them. I did wash mine well and I'm just gonna go add this pink one. My bed fish tank is actually fairly um, short, so actually I'm gonna switch this out. Cause we have two bed fish, so I like switch out their toys and stuff. Um, so yeah, actually I'm gonna stick with this one like I had before. It's nice. Okay, so this is how my bed fish tank looks like right now. And yeah, so. If you want to see more videos like this, then comment down below. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!